Hey guys, so welcome to a tutorial. Um, that, okay, so I know I make a lot of these videos where I like fake tutorials, um, kind of like as a joke, but this one's like an actual tutorial, okay? So I'll just get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a scoreboard. So if I pull it up here, um, you'll just do scoreboard, objectives, add, zombie move, which I already have this one made, and then you'll make a zombie move timer. All right, and then you'll put dummy after that, and then that'll make it. So you're gonna need those scoreboards uh, made, um, and that's how this PVP bot will work: is it uses these two scores for it to like move and stuff. So just make those two, and these are all of the commands you're gonna need. Um, I'll I'll show you all the commands first, and then I'll show you how to set up the bot. Um, but we'll get started with this first. So the repeating is gonna be on 25 tick for this first one and the ticks are down here that's the delay on how many like 20 ticks is one second so you you want a higher tick just so your world doesn't get laggy with commands and stuff so this one is the move so this um this basically on the entity it gives it a random uh move so if it's zero it doesn't do anything if it's one then it like for example moves left if it's two it moves right if it's three it moves backwards <laughs> Excuse me. So that's basically what um, the move is for. And then this one is after it gives it the move, then it'll set the move timer to 10, right? So that's the delay before um, it'll like do another move. So it's a um, half a second delay before it decides what it wants to do next. And this is how you remove the timer here. So you want this on a two tick. And so. Um, you want this to so if you're wondering why th this is orange by the way um, if I open this where my cursor is you see that special symbol right there to get that symbol to make it colored you just need to find this on your keypad this uh, thing here and then you hold a on it and then it gives you this and then that's how you color it and then I just put G after it to color it or you could do for example like a different color like like that and so so on and so forth but that's that's why this is colored and so for this um you're gonna want for the uh husk by the way um you're gonna want type equals husk that's just what i use for my mob and then the name and then the ai you want it for for the name just call it ai just keep it simple um if you want you can add that color onto it like i did and then you do um the scores here and then this is for anything after like one, then it removes it. So if it's on zero, then it won't remove the score. And so that's what you do here. And then, like I said, this is on a two delay, uh, two tick delay. And then for the next chain command, um, this, when the timer reaches zero, then it resets the move to zero because that's, it's like neutral state where it doesn't do anything. And then it basically, it's just a loop. It does these two, then the timer, uh, decreases and once it goes to zero then it does this again so it's just a loop so that's what those do and now this is the this is the movement okay so uh, I'll, I'll do that one uh, last we're gonna just do these these ones these are simples and for the effects you're gonna want them on a 30 tick delay so the effect um, I gave mine resistance because uh, I'll show you how I set my bots up in a second, but they don't have a helmet, so they're a little bit weaker, so I give them resistance. And then I also gave them speed just to make them resemble like a player moving quicker, so they're not slow. So that's what I have for the effects here. And then this, and so the place on here, this is so it seems more lifelike. So I have a pillager noise play. Um, around the AI every once in a while and for this you just want this on 120 tick delay that's how I have mine okay so now we're gonna get to this so this you're gonna have it on a zero tick so it looks smooth when it moves okay so you're gonna execute as the uh, husk here and make sure you pay attention to these scores so just copy the commands as I have them I'll explain them but I won't explain them too much in depth um, so it's executing on the husk here and you want to do at s so that it's executing on its position and unless block so what this is for is whenever like uh, what do you call it you want this here so if it's like inside the ground for example like because 
when it moves backwards, it likes to go in the ground sometimes. So this is just to prevent that from doing its uh, move. And then this just TPs it. Uh, and this is how they move. And the true, uh, the true is for, let's say, the grass block is the entity, right? Let's say the grass block is moving this way, or the entity is moving this way. Then when it hits a block, it can't TP backwards. Like it's it just mimics. So like it's TPing backwards, and then true indicates if a block is nearby, and if there is, then it won't TP. So that's the ch strafe back. So that's moving it backwards. And here's the uh, strafe right here. So this one, it's the same thing. And you uh, you got to pay attention to the zombie move here. So the move, each one has their designated number. All right. So this one, the first one was one, this one is two, and so this one, uh, the unless block is going to be different because um, it's moving to the side instead of behind. So here's this, here's the next one, here's strafe left. It's going to be the, pretty much the same as the other one, only difference being um, instead of a negative, it's a positive number for the movement, and then it's a three for the move, zombie move, and then for the strafe um, for this one. I have two here, so I have strafe back this one, um, this one's for the same thing, and then this one here is so. And so those are all the commands for it. Um, it's really simple, and I'll show you how to make the bot, and then I'll do a showcase of the bot at the end. So what you're going to need is this block here. So to get this block, you just do slash give at s and then structure block. And then I already have it in my inventory here, but that's the block here. So this one, these are the settings I have for it. So you want to do save and then this is the size that I have and then the offset. And that's so it's inside here. And this is this dispenser is just how I put the armor and the Steve head on top of the AI. But basically, all you do, you want to make sure it's on save to disk. So then whenever you leave the world, it's still saved. Remove blocks on. It's just so, for some reason, remove. Even though it's on remove, it doesn't remove blocks. I don't know why that that's how it works, but... Um, you want to make sure this is on, so whenever it spawns like on a sign or a torch, it won't delete that block. And all you got to do is just, um, I won't do it here because I already have them saved, which I'll showcase that in a second. But I'll, I'll just put the husk in there for a second. Just to show you what I mean. Um, but yeah, so you just put the husk. And you don't, I mean, if you want, you can use a baby husk. I wouldn't recommend it, but just use a regular husk. And if you're wondering how it has the animations, I just have a resource pack. But all you want to do is name it with this tag here, or like just AI. You can color it like I did. And then when you uh, name it AI, then it starts behaving. You'll notice it'll, yeah, it makes that noise, and you'll notice that it starts moving in weird ways. So now that we uh, named it like that, it behaves like an AI, and you can see now it has resistance. So using that, um, that's all you have to do. You want to make sure it's surrounded by blocks so it doesn't escape when you're trying to save it. But then you just put the armor on and I will showcase how all of my AIs work here. Um, I have four difficulties. Um, each one, I just saved them like this. AI1, AI2, AI3, and AI4. Um, each one just has different armor. Those are the differences between them. Uh, but basically, I just have different scales for, like, these are different kits for the certain difficulty um, for my map. But I'll showcase the easy bot and the uh, other bot. So I'll showcase me fighting the easy bot here. So right now I have to manually spawn it, but when you press load, it'll spawn the bot. Alright, now if I move back here and I put myself into adventure. Now I might suck, I haven't played Minecraft in a bit. Um, like PvP wise or PvE if you want to be technical. So let's see how good I do. Alright. Okay, so you'll notice that it strafes. Alright. So you'll notice that it's strafing like that. So it strafes. So you have to try and follow its movement. And it does have knockback like a normal player as well, but. But yeah. 
So that's that's kind of how it mimics a player. It has that strafing movement. So now I'll just spawn the other difficulties here, just showing you what they all look like. So here's my AI2. It's an iron uh, zombie. Here's an AI3. And then here's my impossible one. It's just a netherite. So that's what I have for my PvP bots. And you'll notice that they basically just move... You know, they, they just have random movements, and each one has their own different movements, as you can see here. One, this one's moving backwards, these ones are strafing, this one's moving backwards, now that one's strafing. So they all have different movements, they're all, um, their own, like, their own entity, so they move differently, but that's basically how it works. And it's a pretty simple bot. I, I've, uh, showcased it to other people, and I've been told it's a really, um, realistic pvp bot so i would definitely recommend this for any sort of like pvp practice so that's how you make a pvp bot um i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions please comment below and yeah thank you guys